Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our uh, next uh, class in uh, systematic theology. We've looked at attributes of God and, and uh, in, uh, tried to give a good understanding of who God is in his totality. But we're now going to take up the, the subject of what's referred to as the Trinity. And it is probably one of the most difficult and most challenging doctrines to describe, explain, but it's ex extremely important in understanding who God is. Not just his attributes and characteristics, but who God is. And in this, um, lesson, or this class, we're going to look at have basically four lessons. And the first lesson we're going to cover is the importance of the Trinity. In other words, why is the understanding about the Trinity important? A lot of people say, yes, I believe in the Trinity, but we really don't understand it. So we, we make a proclamation that's important, but we really do need to understand the Trinity a lot better. The second lesson we're going to look at is sort of the orthodoxy or the traditional understanding of what Trinitarian doctrine is. Uh, a little explanation that goes along with that. The third lesson we're going to look at some errant views, some things that, that have come up during church history uh, and are still even practiced today. Uh, we're not talking about just ignoring the Trinity because many churches say, yes, we're Trinitarian, but they kind of ignore it. But we're going to actually talk about some of the more errant views. And finally, we're going to look at the relationships or distinctions between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In other words, what's often referred to as the economic Trinity. In other words, uh, how the Trinity works, functions, etc. And this is an area where we find out that there's a lot of confusion between how God uh, the roles within the Trinity and the Trinity itself. So we'll, we'll talk more about that. Uh, as far as the class goes, though, for uh, uh, class assignments and for reading, we basically take this material from two principal sources. You know, we, we add some things in from other things. But first off, you know, we've talked about this before, that Wayne Grudem's Systematic Theology, this is the one that we're, we're using in most of our systematic theology classes. We amalgamate and take care of... Uh, editing and putting things together so that it's a little easier to understand. I mean, it's, it's a big book. There's a lot of material there, so we're using that as a, a primary source. But in this particular lesson, we're also using uh, uh, as a reference source is The Forgotten Trinity by James White. And this book is uh, pretty easy to read. Uh, it, it spurred a lot of interest in um, what's going on, and James White has uh, Alpha and Omega Ministries. He deals with cults and in uh, other challenges, uh, uh, does a lot of apologetic type of stuff. So if you'd like to pick up some more information outside of Grudem's book, The Forgotten Trinity is a, a really good reference. So we should uh, go ahead and uh, we'll pick up with lesson one about the importance of the Trinity.